This is Dr. Gill in Boatland. Now here's a before and after on the wheel cleaning process using the wheel abrader. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, you can tell the original uh, original thing here is just really nasty, cruddy, cr um, grungy stuff, and it's got this combination baked on grease stuff. I still it takes a wire wheel to get that off, and so. The difference between these two, that one and that one, is about two hours. So, um, I don't know. My bill is a hundred bucks an hour, so that's two hundred dollars worth of labor. <laughs> but, you know, if you uh, if you don't have the money, you got to make it look pretty. So, um, yeah, here it is after... And you can see the, the type of wheel rash, at, uh, curb rash, it was showing up on the old ones here. And here it is after I... Pretty much just cleaned her up with the big file and used my three grades of um, abrasive stuff and then just hosed it all off. Yeah, it looks really nice. I still have to do some cleanup work down in the spokes here, but um, the spokes are going to end up getting painted white. I think that's going to look really nice because eventually the trailer is going to be white and the white wheels are going to go with it. and. Uh, and I'll have some chrome center caps, and it'll be pretty spiffy in that. That all going together will be nice. And this this cast surface just picks up all kinds of crud, and it, it's hard to keep it looking nice. So um, unless you're going to go and have them bead blasted, but you know that means money. I can buy a can of spray paint and hit it for you know six bucks, and there you go. So I think it's uh, it's turning out really nice. Um, just got to chew my way through the rest of them, but. I think the uh, the wheel abrader was a was a, a really wonderful thing. All done with stuff that I had laying uh, in storage. <laughs> the only thing I had to buy was a 63-inch fan belt, but uh, that worked out pretty good. Here's a nice little walk around of Das boat. It's the Fliver <laughs> as it sits in the yard. Yeah, there you go. It's always fun to see this stuff back end of the thing. The rudder. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, I don't think there's any anything left of the transom wood anywhere farther out than the side of this. So we get to here. It's all it's all soft through here. And you can tell because these guys are kind of Get down on plane, and you can tell that there, there's a whole, this whole area is all depressed. <laughs> so the whole inside of the transom's got to come out, and the jet's got to come out, and that's a whole another big multi-month project. But I'm just gonna get it out and have some fun, and yeah, get the little, uh, it's, it's called portable shade. Yeah, that's for the tent thing for when it rains out here, because of course the boat's sitting outside.